Good afternoon, everybody. Today, a former Guernsey police officer has been found guilty of perverting the court, course of justice in the Royal Court following an investigation by the Guernsey Police Professional Standards Department. Aaron Cusack was first arrested on the 22nd of October 2021. He did not return to duty following his arrest and was suspended on the 25th of October 2021. Following a subsequent disciplinary process, Cusack was dismissed by me from the organisation. On the 18th of February 2022, he was charged with perverting the course of justice and three telecommunications offences under the relevant legislation for not disclosing his device passcodes to the investigating officers. On the 19th of January this year, he pleaded guilty to each of these offences for failing to disclose the passwords. He will now be back before the Royal Court for sentencing on the 25th of September. This misconduct undermines the trust and the confidence of our community in an organisation that is here to protect and serve and keep the most vulnerable safe. As shown in this case, Cusack did not do this and did not provide the level of service we should be delivering to members of the public. For that, I publicly apologise. The behaviours of this specific individual do not reflect the values and the high standards that the community rightly demands from us. If this conduct and behaviour undermines the credibility and the hard work of every serving officer and member of staff within the Guernsey Police. I know I speak for everyone within the Guernsey Police and the wider law enforcement community who are all members of our community when I say that I am deeply disappointed in this former officer's actions while he was in our employment. I would like to reassure the public and be very clear. Any member of our staff who does fall below the high standards we hold cannot and should not be in a position of trust within our community. As an organisation, we will always take necessary action to identify and robustly deal with such conduct. Serving officers professionally identified and secured the evidence in this case which led to the conviction. Our management team took immediate action to suspend this officer as soon as practicable and he was dismissed by me from the service also at the soonest opportunity. I understand how the community will view this case particularly with respect to the broader policing issues that we see in the United Kingdom but I am confident that the conduct of one individual does not reflect the commitment and dedication of staff working within the Guernsey Police in serving their community. Thank you.